diving into the surprising results of the Iowa caucuses. Former President Donald J. Trump managed to secure a staggering 98 out of 99 counties, demonstrating a broad sweep in this first-in-the-nation contest. Trump's commanding leads were evident across counties of all sizes, with the sole county he lost being Johnson County, known as the state's bluest county. This single lost county went to former Governor Nikki Haley of South Carolina, and notably, by just one vote. Despite the efforts of Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, who had pinned his hopes on Iowa and campaigned extensively in the rural, sparsely populated areas, victory eluded him. Even though he visited every one of Iowa's 99 counties in the months leading up to the caucuses, he could only secure second and third place finishes. The ambitious Vivek Ramaswamy, a pro-Trump entrepreneur, also dropped out of the race after receiving a meager 7% of the vote in Iowa. This disappointing performance came despite his strategy of visiting all 99 counties at least twice, which clearly failed to deliver the surprise he had been confidently predicting. In stark contrast, Donald Trump put in significantly less effort into touring the state, a move that seemed to defy the conventional wisdom of Iowa campaigning. He relied heavily on surrogates to do much of the campaigning for him until the final week before the caucuses. Despite fighting fiercely for second place in the race's final weeks, Nikki Haley finished third overall in Iowa on Monday night. Her only bright spot was Johnson County, where Trump had lost in his 2020 re-election campaign with just 27% of the vote, compared to over 70% for Joseph R. Biden Jr. However, the expectations that Haley would do better in more populous urban and suburban areas fell flat, much like Senator Marco Rubio of Florida, who eight years ago won significant margins in the counties of Des Moines, its suburbs, and Iowa City, only to come in third place. Turnout across the state fell sharply this year, hitting the lowest since the Republican caucuses in 2000. Urban counties lost thousands of votes and in the end, Haley fell far short in Iowa's largest cities, losing by wide margins to Trump, and sometimes even trailing behind DeSantis. In summary, the Iowa caucuses' results were a clear testament to Trump's enduring appeal, with him winning 98 out of 99 counties. Despite less personal campaigning, his strategy of using surrogates proved effective, while other candidates' extensive efforts fell short. These results have significant implications for the upcoming elections, with Trump's commanding lead setting a strong precedent.